So what causes rough, pimply skin, particularly on the arms? I had a viewer reach out and ask me on this, and I've had to do a little bit of research on this so that I could give my thoughts on this um, and make sure that I actually could help this viewer. So if you're watching this, you'll know who you are. Just like and comment uh, down below. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Belinda, and I'm very passionate about helping people recover from autoimmune problems, thyroid issues, sleeping issues, and so, so much more because of a very uh, bad position I found myself in two and a half years ago, which I had to find a way back to health. And that's what I do now, is I basically help people find their way back to health. Okay, now this is a request from a viewer, and she reached out and sent me a message and said, do you know anything about why my son gets uh, pimply rough skin on his arms? And she mentioned that she used to get it when she was younger, as well and it turns out so i've done a little bit of research on this and it turns out it can be called if this is the same condition uh follicular hyperkeratosis so i'm not a scientist so if i get this wrong you know don't blame me anyway this is caused by a vitamin a deficiency which is actually something that i know a lot about surprisingly Okay, so this can be caused by not having enough vitamin A or retinol in your skin. Okay, and uh, true retinol comes from animal sources. Okay, so uh, apparently from my research, vegetarians and vegans can actually get this condition a little bit more often because they're not consuming true retinol. Now, when we don't have enough true retinol, it can actually cause a iron deficiency in our body as well. So these two are actually linked. So quite often you may have an iron deficiency as well, which needs to be resolved by improving our vitamin A, okay, uh, using true retinol. Okay, other causes to this condition can be alcohol, okay, or fatty liver disease, okay, whether it's alcohol related or food related. So um, high sugars, high sugar, high carbohydrate diets can actually cause fatty liver disease as well. Okay, that's the new phenomenon. Okay, the other thing it can that can cause this is gallbladder problems, particularly not creating enough bile in the gallbladder. Okay, so that's that's kind of what causes this. So what can we actually do to rectify this issue? Well, there are a couple of things, and this is, if you've ever taken any of my programs or courses, you'll know this. How do you increase your vitamin A? Well, that's the first step. Well, the best source to improve your vitamin A is actually good old extra virgin cod liver oil. Yep, it's that simple. Just adding that can improve your skin and texture so dramatically it's not funny it actually is really really good for your skin okay and you take it internally so it's just something that you take there's a few good brands that I recommend there are some that are not so good so if you want to know a good brand just reach out and let me know and I will put a link down below uh, because unfortunately not all cod liver oils are created equal and when they use certain um, manufacturing techniques, it actually destroys the nutrients that you're trying to get from the cod liver oil. Uh, that's something I found out about a week or so ago because I have got certain cod liver oils that I like to use and recommend. Um, and then I was finding out about the production process and how you actually find out if the cod liver oil is a good one to use or not. And it comes down to how it's manufactured, which is really interesting. Another thing that uh, you can try is improving your vitamin E, okay? Um, that can actually be something that a high sugar, high carbohydrate diet actually um, takes from your system. It takes a lot of magnesium. It takes a lot of uh, vitamin E from your system as well. So maybe looking at making some dietary changes can also help with these skin conditions. Okay, the other thing that can cause it, which I omitted to um, mention, was exposure to arsenic. Okay, and that can come on our fruits and vegetables. And that's why, um, and that's basically why when we can 
and it's available and we can afford it, organic is the way to go because it's going to have less of these chemicals on it. So exposure to those arsenics and chemicals can actually cause this condition as well. So anyway, I hope you found this useful. If you're watching live, then let us know live. And if you're catching this on the replay, then let us know replay. And I have a pesky itch here for some reason. Um, now, if you know someone with rough pimply skin, then why not consider sharing this video with them so we can actually help people who have these problems, uh, resolve these problems from the actual causes. Okay, anyway, you have an awesome day and I will see you at this time tomorrow.